Hello friends, in this video, I will talk about REST API uh, in a WordPress. Okay, so uh, this is the official uh, REST API handbook available on developer.wordpress.org website. Okay, so if you are not aware of this handbook, so I would recommend it to go or check once this handbook. Uh, so using this handbook or uh, by going through this handbook, you will learn more about REST API. Okay and there are multiple references are there which you can like you can, it will be a very uh, helpful to learn the rest api so in this video i will give a basic overview about the rest api and how we can use it okay so basically the rest api provides a way for the applications to like to make uh, to to send and retrieve the data in the json format okay so earlier we uh, we used uh, we are, we were using the admin ajax to make some asynchronous requests okay uh, to perform any any other things like updating the data or just fetching the data to display into the front end uh, asynchronously so now instead of the, using the admin ajax we can use the rest api because rest api provides various uh, default uh, endpoints or the routes which we can use so all for all the custom post types the default posts or pages for the media or any other content types we have in the in our wordpress uh, we can we can we we do have rest api endpoints for all of it all of the uh, content types which we can use okay so um okay so uh, before that we will let's get, just have some uh, like uh, orientation of the key concepts because uh, there will be some words be maybe new for you so let's talk let's go through it because these terms we will uh, i will use uh, frequently in our videos okay so first it's called routes and endpoints so basically our rest api route uh, started with wp json after our domain or site url so basically if you go here you can see this is my local website called learnwp.test and wpjson which is our starting point or base rest based url we can say uh, which will give some uh, information so we will uh, go through it also okay so and uh, this called the route and what are the endpoints so for example there is uh, this is the route called wpjson wp v2 a uh, post okay so this uh, route used to uh, to to retrieve the data of the uh, various posts okay but uh, this po this route also used to um, to do a two things like first is reading or fetching the data which is like using the get http method but the same route can use to create a new post in our website using the post method so those things will be called as an uh, endpoint okay so uh, whatever the on the same route for different http method which will be known as an endpoint okay and since we are like in my local website i'm using the pretty permalinks that's why i can access the rest based url with this uh, wp hyphen json if the if pretty permalinks is not selected and it's like non pretty permalinks then it will be uh, the url looks like this way okay but uh, we always use the pretty permalinks so we uh, this is our base rest uh, rest based url okay and then next is a request so all the requests uh, will be managed by this wp race request class okay which used to store and retrieve the information of the current request including the your body whatever the json data you have sent in the body or the query strings okay and the headers and everything okay so all all the request related information will be managed by this wp race request and then responses so whatever uh, like when we uh, the rest api request is made um, whatever the based on the based on the request it will send a response back in the json format and the wp rest response class used uh, provides an inter uh, provides a provides a way to interact with the response data okay so this uh, we will we will use this class to send the response back okay and then schema we can use the schema to to structure our input data okay so we will learn about a schema in 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 upcoming videos okay and then controller classes so controller classes basically uh, have to manage various uh, rest api endpoints so there are multiple uh, controller classes called like post controller taxonomy controller so different these controllers controllers use to have uh, to make to have a rest api 
uh, and uh, routes for the different con uh, custom post types and the custom taxonomies as well okay so so all we will go through all this uh, like the request class or response class schema or the controller classes in upcoming videos too but these are the terms you can you will heard you will read uh, in uh, during the handbook so have we like uh, we must know about this uh, key, uh, like various uh, terms so that uh, we can understand better way okay so in the base uh, this is the base url or uh, rest base url so here you will get some of the informations like name description a uh, url a uh, home url so um, and then uh, the time zone if it sets okay and then various namespaces so these are the namespaces available so what is a namespace so namespace is used used to to make some differentiation between the like various endpoints because there could be a chances that uh, the end or the some routes name um, will be same okay because there are multiple plugins available or the themes available which may uh, also add a new endpoints or the routes so um, so to differentiate it um, the we can we always use the namespace okay so WP V to all the all the content types related routes you can uh, we can find in the wp slash v2 namespace and we uh, when we register a custom routes uh, we don't use this uh, uh, default namespace we will always keep our custom or unique namespace based on our plugins and themes okay um then if the authentication if there are any authentication related uh, urls are available that we can do so there are multiple ways to authenticate the data we will also look uh, we will also see what are the methods available for authentication and then routes all the all the available routes uh, which uh, need, uh, like provided by the wordpress or by the external plugins or the themes that can be found in the routes table okay so there are around 120 routes by default available and all of these from the wordpress core okay i think because i haven't installed any third party plugin so so all these routes you can find so for example um i will just simply here uh, call the uh, routes uh, routes dot uh, not w wp v2 and a post uh, probably I have made some mistake. So um, routes and um, then slash WP. You know, I think I'm making some mistakes here. Okay, but uh, let me just go through it. Oh, okay, we also have some all the routes information in the endpoint references. Okay, so you here in this in this uh, like on this documentation, you will see all the all the references available for post, for post revisions, category tags, and everything. So let me just go through the post here. So and there are you can also see the schema uh, and what different different routes and endpoints for listing the list of the post, create the post, and everything. Okay. So um, basically, I will just copy this one. Okay, and uh, make a get request. Uh, and here when we send it it will it will give a list of the posts okay so i think there will be a 10 posts will be fetched and all the post related information including id date authors logs and content and everything will be um you will find in the response okay and into the header you can see a various header available here and you can there are two header which is very helpful xwp total which is uh, which says that total 51 posts available and xwp total pages mean that means there are six pages available and these pages uh, will be count based on the post per page will set uh, which is set by uh, from the wordpress settings like including uh, go to the settings and reading settings and from there you can set what are what number of posts you want to display on a single page so that by default it's a 10 okay so you can also see the headers here and the previews okay and all this information you can find it here so in this uh, this will be in the json format okay um and then you can also make a post request to create a post okay and all these arguments you can find it here what are the other things could be there into the response okay yeah thanks for watching see you on the next one jay wordpress